to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. It says, where do you, obviously referring to me, stand on the gifts of the Holy Spirit? I would love to see what your stand is. Well, whoever submitted this question, here we go. The Bible speaks of what we know as spiritual gifts primarily in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. There in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it says it is the Spirit that gives gifts. And I know this isn't directed uh, to the question, but allow me to address the fact that every believer in Jesus Christ has at least one spiritual gift, but nobody has all of them. And the reason or the way that I can prove that is based on this question because I have an idea uh, that this question is referring to the gifts, particularly of tongues and of healings. Oftentimes the things that we don't talk a whole about, particularly in what we know as a Baptist context. The reason that nobody can have all of them is the Bible says there's the gift of, quote, speaking in tongues, and there's the gift of the discernment of tongues. In other words, you cannot possess both gifts at the same time. So every one of us as a believer has at least one. None of us has all of them, but we don't get to choose. The Lord is the one that distributes. Now, here's what's interesting. The next two chapters give us more information about these gifts. Chapter 13 is the great love chapter, but really it's not about marriage, though we use it marriage ceremonies. It's talking about that when we distribute or utilize our spiritual gift, it should be in love, never uh, the opposite. And there's this interesting passage there in chapter 13 that says, where prophecies shall fail and tongues shall cease, love never dies. And there are some uh, that are what we call full-blown cessationalists that say, well, those gifts such as tongues and healings do not exist anymore based on that passage. The problem with being a cessationalist is when you get to chapter 14, the entire chapter is about speaking in tongues, discerning tongues, and the hearing of tongues. And there are all these parameters about how it is to be done. And when you get to the very last section of chapter 14, it says that God is not the author of confusion. Well, there's been a whole lot of confusion when it comes to not only the distribution, but the usage of what we know as spiritual gifts. And here's the simple conclusion of the matter, that every one of those spiritual gifts is given by God, and it is at his will and discretion, and he can give, and he can take, he can use, and he can stop at his discretion anytime he wants. The thing that you and I need to speak about is not have they ceased in totality or are they still standard issue is the understanding that the Bible has laid out a very clear plan on how these gifts are to use, the environment they're to be used in, and how we're to determine or discern if they're using being used in a valid manner or not. So oftentimes we oversimplify the question by stating, do the healing and tongue gifts still exist? Well, I would kind of, I guess, push back and say, well, it depends on the environment, the situation, and the means by which it is being done. Now, today, 2,000 years removed from the empty tomb, having a complete canon or the totality of the scriptures, I do believe, and this is verified by the book of Acts, that those gifts of healing and tongues, those ecstatic gifts as we oftentimes call them, are very much limited compared to days past. You see healings diminish toward the end of the book of Acts. You see tongues diminish toward the end of the book of Acts. Now, I did not say they ceased. I just said that with the canonization of the word of God and the belief therein, that the necessity is not as required as much maybe as in days past. So at the end of the day, when it comes to the distribution and the usage of quote spiritual gifts, it is the Lord who gives, it is the Lord who uses, and anytime we exercise a spiritual gift for our own attention rather than his, we've gone down the wrong path. Great question. I'm glad you submitted it. You can submit your question to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. Net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.